Hey guys, welcome back to Comageddon TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're going to be doing a an unboxing. Uh, my wife ordered me something off uh, from Target yesterday. Uh, I was not expecting it to get here so soon. Shipped pretty fast, so uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So this is the Hasbro Ghostbusters Plasma Series Ecto-1. There we have the box. Let's go ahead and bring this in. All right, as you can see here, it's the Ghostbusters Ecto-1 from Hasbro's Plasma Series. <clears throat> It's the Ghostbusters Afterlife Ecto-1, actually. And let's take a minute to appreciate the look of this packaging. This, this looks really good. I might just keep this box, actually. As you can see, there's the Ecto-1 inside their barn. It's for ages 14 and up. On the side, we have some schematics. On the other side, we have some Art Deco Ecto-1. On the top, we have the the khaki flight suit style packaging that we're used to and then on the back we get a look at the ecto-1 and inside the ecto-1 looks like the classic ecto-1 got a few upgrades with new features ready to take on bigger batter ghosts the ghouls will be running scared and then the rest is in different languages so let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at ecto Okay, so as you can see here, it comes taped down in the packaging with some tie downs as well. The roof rack is separated as long as, as well as some of the other stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, cut that out and take a look at it. First, we're gonna start with the roof rack. So you can see there's the satellite dish there. One of the lights and the siren. Pretty cool. So this may be one of the last toy reviews I'm actually going to do on Comageddon. Um, if I do toy reviews after this point, they're going to be few and far between. Uh, only very special items are going to get reviewed from now on. Um, simply because they don't have... They don't get the same kind of views that my History and Origins vi uh, videos do. As you can see there, the uh, No Ghost logo is all cracked up. Which actually looks pretty cool, I must say. And here we have the other add-ons. We've even got the uh, remote control uh, ghost trap in there, so that's cool. And that's it for what's in the box. Now, oops, sorry about that, guys. Now we'll go ahead and put everything in place. So the roof rack. <clears throat> all right so on this ecto the ladder is actually on the opposite side as you can see it attaches here and here and 
Now this didn't come with any directions. So you basically got to go off of memory and what it looks like, um, where it looks like these uh, are supposed to go. So let's see here. Does that go there? Let's take a look at the box. <clears throat> okay. So you can look at the box to determine where everything goes. So say this one. No. These do have specific locations. Um, they are different lengths and there's a different curvature to them as well. <clears throat> and we'll put this maybe behind the ladder. Maybe if it'll go in. So the way it has to go in, you basically have to turn it into place. So I kind of like it like that. I don't like it um, hanging on the outside of the ladder. It looks better like that. Uh, and here's the hoses. This clip goes into there. Okay. So as you can see, <clears throat> clips in there, and then there's two peg holes right there that it pegs into. And then, <clears throat> this piece pegs in right there. light it looks like clips in right in that L shape around the hoses just like that all right now what does this where does this piece go right here let's take a look at the other side So this clips right into here. Just like that. And then there's a hole right peg hole right here that you just snap it into. And then we have the remote control remote control trap that Oh, it goes, it goes right in the back. So we open the back and it just sits right there. Just like that. So let's go ahead and open the doors, if I can get them open. And we do have the uh, seat, which comes out, spins around, just like that. It is on an armature. And as you can see, there's the uh, built-in proton pack on the back of it. Okay. So this door, it's on 
a curved bracket. Let's see. Uh oh. Okay, so be careful with this one. What you have to do is <clears throat> open it all the way towards the ecto, and you gotta kind of do this in order to close it. It did stick on me at first, so it doesn't look like the plasma series figures are really going to uh, be able to fit in here. And this back door looks like does not open. It's just sculpted in. But even though the plasma series figures aren't going to be able to fit in here, in fact, let's go ahead and grab one just to show you. So here we have Peter Vankman. And as you can see, he is too tall for the Ecto. Um, he, there's no way he's going to be able to fit in there. Uh, and the fact that the steering wheel is so close to the seat um, would make it all the more difficult for him to fit in there. But it is still a cool piece, a cool display piece nonetheless, and a cool play, uh, play piece. I really like the paint job on it. Uh, it rolls fine. Um, oh, forgot to close the back hatch. I, I really like all the detail on it. I have not had an Ecto-1 since the real Ghostbusters toy line. Um, when I played with my toys as a kid, um, let's just say I wasn't that nice to them. <laughs> I had the uh, Ecto-1 as well as the Super Powers uh, Batmobile. And I had them get into a car crash. And I set them on fire. Not thinking what that would mean. <laughs> so needless to say, I ruined both vehicles. I'm kicking myself in the ass for it now. Uh, at the time, I... I wanted to be as realistic as possible with my toys, uh, playing with my toys. So, um, yeah, it's one of those deals. So let's go ahead and we'll get the other Plasma Series figures lined up next to Ecto. And here we have the entire Ghostbusters Hasbro Plasma Series toy line. <clears throat> we have the Terror Dogs. We have Lewis Tully, we have Dana Barrett, we have Gozer, we have Peter, Egon, Ray, Winston, and now we have the Ecto-1. So I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing, um, unboxing slash review. Uh, I hope you tune in again next time. We're going to be doing a lot more uh, History and Origins videos on this channel and a lot fewer toy reviews. Uh, however... We are going to cut our videos down to about once a week now. Uh, and that's because of with schooling, uh, as well as managing my other channels, I don't really have time to do multiple videos a week. Uh, so you're going to get videos once a week, uh, probably every Thursday. Uh, unless it's a special occasion like this week when you get the Ecto-1 today. Also, if you're into true crime, serial killers, the paranormal, and psychology make sure you head on over to my other channel, Psychology of the Unknown, where I've been doing a series here lately on serial killers. I've done Edward Edwards, I've done Son of Sam, and I've done Freight Train, the uh, hobo child killer. Uh, coming up soon, I'll be doing the Columbine Massacre Shooters. Um, so yeah. Head on over there. The link will be in the description below as well as it will be linked at the end screen here. Make sure you give us a subscribe, like, comment, and share. I've been Shannon. This has been Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. 
I'm Shannon for Comic Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.